okay, in this next approach, we're going to do a full, excuse me, a GPS full approach with a course reversal hold. So we're following on from the previous place. We're sitting here holding at the Asigi intersection. Let's go into the procedure mode and we're going to continue to fly the RNAV3 approach again. From here, and we want to select the Apixi transition. There you can see the procedure preview coming up on the screen. Select that. It says, do you want to replace the uh, active approach? Yes, we do. So approve that. As soon as you accept the new approach, this will now turn and exit and hold and proceed to the Apixi waypoint, which as you can see, that's what we're doing now. The new approach is now active. GPS LPV. So come over here. You can see we're flying inbound. Aircraft reaches the Apixi intersection will automatically enter the course reversal hold as depicted here. And note that the message exiting hold at fix appears in the lower right corner. Indicates that unlike holding patterns you've seen so far, you will not remain in this hold. It's only for a course reversal purposes. So the IFP will automatically exit the hold when you cross the holding fix inbound. You can confirm that you will exit the hold by noting that the leg after the hold is displayed as a barber pole. So it's not expecting to continue the hold. But there are times, however, when you would want to remain in a hold. This could happen if you had not been cleared for the approach and you had to wait in the hold for another aircraft to clear the airspace. In that case, you would hit the continue hold button and you would remain in the hold indefinitely until such time you were cleared otherwise and exit appropriately. And when you exit the hold, you would be aligned properly with the final approach course. So now if I switch over here, when we get to a pixie, we should bring our CDIs in. And see, now we've passed a pixie. We're centered right on the center line of the runway with the CDI left, right. We're below the glide path. We will intercept that at Wooten and then we'll descend down to the MDA. Now we've intersected the glide slope. We're still below, but it's come alive. On the IFD 550, it shows you a nice clear depiction. Here's our leg change. Now here's the point where you would transition to Wooten and now we're gonna descend. I'm in the simulated mode, so it's not going to descend, but in the real world airplane, you of course would pitch down and recouple the autopilot and it would fly you down. So you can see that flying approaches is really easy. It's highly automated on the IFD. In this case, we did a GPS full approach with a course reversal hold.